I'm both seriously. I'm seriously, ours works. Let's go build something. So this is mine and my wife's room, and we've been working hard. We repainted it and uh, built this dog kennel slash entertainment center. But our Roku, the Velcro wore off and doesn't want to stick to the bottom of the TV anymore. So it just kind of dangles there and just doesn't look good. So I'm going to design it two ways. I'm going to design it on Fusion 360, and I'm also going to do cardboard template way. So I just got to take a few measurements, cut the template, I'll test it. I'm going to go design it on the computer. I'm just going to take a few measurements to get the height that I want the piece to drop down from before I start the bend. And then I'll measure the width of the Roku to actually get so I have a good base for it to sit on and then finally I'm going to use some spring calipers to get the distance between the screws so because I'm using the where the uh, hard base would mount to so it would sit on uh, like a counter or an entertainment center and then the last two measurements I will take is the width the distance from the screw from the top and the side so I can get that laid out properly There it is, fits up there nice, the screw holes line up, now it's just time to go cut it. I'm going to cut, I'll drill in right here and cut out for the wires to go through, so it'll sit nicely up on there. Just like that. Alright, let's go out, I'm going to go design it now on the CAD program to get a little bit better view of what it's going to look like in metal, and then go cut it. So before I go out to the garage. I'm going to design it in CAD just to see a better look of what it would look like. So the only reason I'm doing it in Fusion 360 is for my learning purpose only. I'm new to CAD programming and I'm trying to figure out how to model my projects now in CAD so I can give the detailed better view of it. I also have a shortcut list and I couldn't find it. That's where you can see me look it up on my phone to get shortcuts of how to do, get to certain things faster by using the uh, shortcut key. One thing I learned here is I should have, you see me making the marks for the holes and stuff. On the end product, I should have actually carried that into the flat base where the Roku sits. It would have gave it a better, smoother transition from the wires that kind of lifts them up a little bit from that design. Got my piece of scrap metal, got my template. I actually, after I got it up and was looking at it a little bit more, I'm gonna extend this out a little bit further because when I bend it, the metal will, this corner is gonna take up some metal. So how I'm gonna do that is, this is square. I'm just gonna offset it off this edge a little bit. And I'm gonna take some spray paint, spray paint it and have my uh, template set up.
up, up, cleaned up, better cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and mark. I got the holes marked where I'm going to drill, and I'm going to make, go ahead and make the mark across, bend it, and then drill it. So this um, sheet metal break I'm using, I would it's from Harbor Freight, and I plan on upgrading it because you can see right here I had an issue with the clamp not wanting to stay clamped. It's wanting to have it has too much force, so I'm actually going to modify it a certain way, and I think it's going to work so much better that way. I may, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a picture of what I did to change that in the future. If you guys like this video, please click the like button, share, and hit the bell to subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. up with some files and then paint it. Alright, so we're back inside. It's dry and ready to be installed. Let's get going. Much cleaner looking, kind of goes in, blends in with the TV. You don't see it, don't see the wires hanging and it dangling down here. So, love the way it looks. There you go. Thank you for watching.